Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Alexandra Don, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the new Port Key Monitors LI Viewfinder. Basically, this viewfinder is a really affordable one, and when Port Key sent me an email to test this out, I was very intrigued because I don't usually have a lot of experience with viewfinders rather than my Sony FA7 Mark II viewfinder or the ones that come with Sony cameras. So I was really curious to see exactly how a professional viewfinder will look and since this one has a really good price, seemed like a really good option for me to upgrade from my not so beautiful viewfinder that I have on my Sony FA7 Mark II. So my first thoughts for this product when it came uh, I really like its weight and body size. I think it's a really nice uh, weight to body ratio. I think um, it's not so heavy. So when you put it on your camera, for example, I test it out on my Z cam, it looks and feels really light. And also I really love the design because you have this wooden uh, diopter from where you can uh, adjust your adapters for your eyes. And this one is really nice because on my Z-Cam I have this wooden handle and with this wood here really completes my rig and looks really nice. Also, the build quality is pretty cool. Uh, the only uh, plastic parts are here. So basically uh, where the monitor sits and the buttons and everything seems really solid. Before going further, I want to show you what this viewfinder comes with when you buy it. So inside of the box, it comes with a few accessories that are a cable for D-Tap to DC in that it's used to power on the viewfinder. Then you have an HDMI adapter used to place your HDMI a little bit better and an Allen key and a spare part for the eyepiece of the viewfinder. You also get an USB that it's used to update your software or import LUTs. So on the side of the viewfinder, we have three ports. One is HDMI. It doesn't have SDI, unfortunately. Port number two is for DCI in, which is used to power on this viewfinder. And lastly, there is an USB that it's used to update your software or import the LUTs, but that USB it's used also to power on your viewfinder, which is exactly what I did with my MP batteries that have USB power out. It also has three mounting holes which is really great because uh, you have a lot of mounting options. It also comes with a NATO rail, which uh, is very helpful for the ones that already have NATO clamp uh, accessories. And what was really interesting when this came was the way that the viewfinder has this eyepiece, which you can take it off and put a new one. But this was very interesting because what's so cool about this one is that it's built from this foam material and when you place it on your eyes it's a little bit more gentle and you can use it with glasses and I also tested it with a mask on and I think it was pretty good. It didn't fog that fast as with the, the rubber piece. So when it comes to functionalities, I think this viewfinder has a lot of pro features. For example, you have histogram, you have a waveform, you have LUT import, you have tons of features that probably most of the more expensive viewfinders or monitors have. You also have anamorphic de-squeezing, you have all the functions that you need to uh, use this as a pro. Uh, also, you have customizable buttons here, so uh, if you want to uh, input all your settings that you like to use, you, you can do that here. The menu layout is pretty nice and uh, it's really easy to use it when you have it on your eye. So uh, that's a really nice thing. So the price is really good. The build materials and its design is really nice. And I really think this viewfinder could have the potential to be the perfect viewfinder you can find on the market but for me it has a major downside. I think the image that you see 
through the viewfinder is not that big and uh, that is not such a good thing for me because when I look at a viewfinder I expect to see the image really big like you're in a theater and you're only you and the image and with this one uh, I think it's a little bit too small for my taste but for the price I researched the market and this is probably the best uh, bank for the money you can buy right now in terms of viewfinders and hope you enjoyed this video guys and uh, hope it was helpful for you to get a better understanding on how good or not good is this product and if you like this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel hit that bell icon so you will be alerted when I post new videos and until next time let's go out create more content and have fun cheers